welcome all to work energy and power class 2 in which we'll discuss in detail about energy energy is the ability to do work or energy is required to develop a force like if we are exerting some force which is possible only if we are having some energy or any type of forces like it may be a gravitational force it is due to gravitational energy if it is an electrostatic force it is due to electric field energy so like that by energy force is developed and whenever force produces some displacement energy is getting transferred which is known as nothing but a work done so remember this important thing it is the ability to do work energy is required to develop a force and whenever force produces some displacement energy is get transferred which is known as work that's why we in the initial uh, topic in work we discussed that it is the work is the transfer of energy now this uh, energy is mainly classified into two first one is known as nothing but uh, kinetic energy then second one is known as nothing but a uh, potential energy now we'll discuss in detail about this kinetic energy is nothing but the energy possessed by an object due to its speed let's see how we'll calculate the kinetic energy of an object so consider a situation that there is an object of mass m which is kept on a smooth horizontal surface and assume that its initial velocity is equal to 0 so we are going to find out the value of kinetic energy by using the concept that work done by a force is the reason for its kinetic energy so we are considering that initially an object is at rest and we are exerting a force f on this object because of that this object is getting accelerated and it travel a distance let's say that is equal to s or a displacement s and its speed is increased from 0 to v so we can find out what about the value of kinetic energy attained by this object so kinetic energy is equal to nothing but the work done by this force or work done by this force is converted in the form of kinetic energy so for the calculation of work done we can use the equation work is equal to force into displacement and this force can be written as nothing but mass into acceleration into displacement now the initial velocity of this object is zero final velocity is v now from the equations of motion that is v square minus u square is equal to 2 into a into s we can write the value of this a into s in the situation is equal to v square which is final velocity minus u square in the situation initial velocity was zero divided by 2 or you can write the value of a s is equal to nothing but v square by 2 so in this equation of kinetic energy or the value of work done which is equal to f into s which is equal to m into a into s instead of a into s we can write v square by 2 so you can write the value of energy of an object or kinetic energy of an object moving with the velocity v is equal to half into m into v square so for the calculation of kinetic energy we'll always use this equation half m v square now in the next part uh, we'll discuss about potential energy potential energy is due to conservative force so first we'll discuss what is conservative force there are basically two type of forces one is known as a conservative force another one is known as a non conservative force the definition for conservative force is if work done by a force can be stored in the form of potential energy then it is known as conservative force and if it is not stored in the form of potential energy then it is known as nothing but a non conservative force you no need to worry about which is conservative force and which is non conservative force in general or for solving problems the conservative forces that we are using is using r nothing but gravitational force electrostatic force spring force etc and friction is an example for a non conservative force 
So based on the energy transfer during work done, forces can be classified into two categories. First one is conservative force. So work done by conservative force always changes the potential energy of system. And if work done by conservative force is positive, potential energy will decrease. And if work done by conservative force is negative, potential energy of system will increase. One more important thing related to conservative forces. In conservative force field, work done always depends on initial and final position and not depends on the path along which work is done. So it is also known as something better state function. So if it is depends upon the path followed, it is known as a path function. And if it is depends only on the initial and final stage, then it is known as something better state function. So we'll take some example for it, then you will get the exact idea about what is path function and state function. Next one is, is known as non conservative forces. These are the forces in which work done always dissipated and the total energy of system will always decrease. And in non conservative force, we never talk about potential energy. Potential energy is associated only with a conservative force. And in non conservative force, we will not talk about potential energy. Now we'll take some example for potential energy. So in work power energy chapter, uh, basically we'll discuss about two type of potential energy. One is gravitational potential energy and another one is elastic potential energy or the potential energy which is stored inside a spring. So first we'll discuss about the gravitational potential energy. So gravitational force is a conservative force. And if you want to find out the value of change in potential energy, always we'll use this equation change in potential energy is equal to negative of work done by a conservative force. So negative of work done by a conservative force is equal to the value of change in its potential energy. So basically over here we are going to find out the change in gravitational potential energy. We are not going to find out the exact value of gravitational potential energy that we'll discuss in chapter gravitation. Now first see how to find out the value of change in gravitational potential energy. So over here we are uh, considering that there is an object of mass m which was initially on the surface of uh, earth. So gravity will exert some force on it. Let's say that force is known as nothing but weight of this object mg. And we are displacing this object in upward direction or in vertically upward direction by a distance h. So over here we can find out what about the value of work done by gravitational force. Over here the work done by conservative force or work done by gravitational forces. We can write work done is equal to F into S into cos theta. Over here force is nothing but uh, mg. Displacement happening to this object is h. And the force is acting in downward direction and displacement is in upward direction. So angle between force and displacement is 180. So we can take it as it is into cos 180. And the value of cos 180 is minus 1. So we can write the final answer for work done is m into g into h or negative of mgh is a value of work done by conservative force or work done by gravitational force. So we can find out what about the value of change in potential energy happening to this object. So change in gravitational potential energy in this situation is equal to negative of work done by conservative force that is negative of minus of mgh. So that will be equal to plus m into g into h. So this will give the value of change in potential energy. Or if you are considering that its initial potential energy is zero, it is just an assumption. If you are assuming that our reference line or initially when where was the object, if you are taking that position as a zero potential energy, then the potential energy of object or gravitational potential energy of object, when it is at a height h above the zero reference potential energy line is m into g into h. So we'll use this equation for the calculation of gravitational potential energy with respect to a zero reference line or change in potential energy of an object when it is displaced by a height h in upward direction. On the same way we'll discuss how to find out the elastic potential energy or spring potential energy. So over here we are considering a spring and its spring constant is represented by let's say this k. 
and it is connected to an object of or a block of mass let's say that is equal to m which is kept on a smooth horizontal surface now by exerting some force as we know that if we are extending this object or displacing this block or stretching the spring by a distance x then the spring will exert some restoring force or there will be a restoring force developed inside the spring and we know how to find out the value of this uh, restoring force if it is extended by a distance x then the restoring force acting on the spring is equal to kx so we are going to find out what about the value of energy stored inside the spring in this situation also we'll find out by using the same method we'll find out what about the value of work done by spring force over here or work done by conservative force over here over here our conservative force is nothing but the force exerted by the spring so force exerted by the spring is nothing but kx and over here we can observe that force is varying as a function of x so we need to use that equation integration of f of x dx for the calculation of work done and if you are displacing this object by a distance x so we can put the limit from 0 to x and one more thing here you can observe that the object is displacing towards right and the force is acting or conservative force or the restoring force is acting towards left so this work done is definitely going to be a, a negative value so you can write negative of k is a constant integration of x dx integration of x dx is x square divided by 2 and we are putting the limit from 0 to x so you can write the value of work done by this conservative force is minus of k x square divided by 2 or half k x square so if you want to find out the value of change in potential energy of spring that is negative of work done by conservative force that is negative of half into k into x square or negative of negative it becomes positive so we can write the value of change in potential energy of spring is equal to half k x square so at x is equal to zero if there were no extension or the spring is in its equilibrium location then the potential energy was half k x square now the potential energy becomes equal to half into k into x square so for the calculation of potential energy stored inside the spring we will use this equation half k x square hope so that you understood whatever the things we discussed in this class if you are having any doubt please contact thank you